Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the previous episode, we have learned how to install Angular CLI, how to create a new project and also we saw how to get it up and running quickly. That's your first step of learning. The next step, logical step, is that whenever you work with Angular, you will most likely need a UI framework. That framework can be Bootstrap or Material Design, Angular Material or it can be any other CSS framework. I'm going to show you Bootstrap in this episode and in the next episode I will cover Angular Material. This will help you to work with one of the frameworks so that it, you can easily get a lot of components readily. This is part 5 of Angular 10 full tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you. The playlist link, the notes and the code will be available in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so that you have your notes and code handy. Alright, so like I said, uh, make sure that you have seen the previous episodes so that you have your continuity of learning. Today is the fifth, fifth episode and we will learn how to install Bootstrap in our Angular application. So let's first talk about different ways of how you can include or install Bootstrap in your Angular application. The first logical way to include Bootstrap is using a content delivery network links. A content delivery network link is nothing but a hosted uh, website which allows you to link to the style and JS files which you don't have to install or have it locally. You can just link to them and they will you can always get the data from there. This is good practice if you're doing kind of a quick POC or a quick validation of UI or something like that. The most ideal way to work in real time projects is using NPM package manager. Most, most likely you will need this most of the times 99% times you will find yourself that in most applications we will use NPM package manager. So using CDN links, uh, we, we copy the URLs of style and scripts and include them in our HTML files. That's all we have to do. That's as simple as that. With NPM package manager, we have to do two steps. I'll show you both. So let's see first CDN and then I will show you how to go about your business with NPM package manager. Right. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I'll go to my bootstrap. Uh, that is the bootstrap application framework homepage. I'll go to docs and from there if you just scroll down a bit you would see quick start and here you would see there are two links provided to you. One is style sheet which has the bootstrap CDN link to the style.min.css and the other would be the JS file so which is bootstrap min.js right. Now these two you need to include in order to work with CDN. So let's copy those links, right? And go to your index.html and just include them here like how I have done. Just copy paste them, right? So script also, just copy them and paste it. That's all you have to do. So in your index.html, you have added link to bootstrap CDN, right? Style.css, that is min.css and bootstrap min.js. That's all. So your bootstrap is now imported. My application is up and running. It's compiled successfully. But in order to see our output, right? Let me first show you what the output looks like and then we will. So this is the output that it looks like by default. And now let's con let's just uh, add a quick heading here. Welcome to bootstrap framework in Angular. Right, and I will give a utility class called BG Primary. Now, this is a um, utility class. What it does is that it will put a background color to the wherever whichever element you give. In this case, we have given the BG Primary to the H1, so the background color should be applied to the heading. That's the expected output. Let's go here, and if you see here, it has applied the that means our bootstrap framework is imported correctly and it's applying the styles also correctly right this is the first way which is using cdn right now i'm going to show you how to work with npm package manager 
So first I'm going to revert. I'm not going to revert the this change because we want to verify. Instead in index.html I'm going to delete both the links. Right. So now I'm not linking to any CDN. But now if you see the output it would not have anything. It would just be welcome to bootstrap framework. Now what we need to do just close it here and then you will say npm install bootstrap jquery popper and you would say hyphen hyphen save this is important remember friends if you don't give save it will go to the global reference but you want save because you want it in the local reference so remember this is a common mistake that a lot of developers will do and they then they see that it's not working right so the command is npm install bootstrap jquery popper and hyphen hyphen save right now some notes for you <coughs> when you're working with npm package manager right so <coughs> you will run the command npm install bootstrap jquery popper right now this is good if you are doing bootstrap version 4 right but if you are doing bootstrap version 5 you do not need to add the jquery so you can just say bootstrap and popper that's all you need to do right and you will write hyphen hyphen save because we want to save it in our local node modules and not the global right so remember if you're doing with bootstrap version 4 you will run with jquery if you're doing with bootstrap 5 do it without jquery it will the output will be same okay so i am doing it with 4 but going forward I'll, maybe i'll create a tutorial where i'll do it with 5 and it's going to be the same right so let's go ahead and now run this command so now once you do this you have to verify how do you verify you can check it in package.json file the packages should be added for bootstrap jquery and popper okay so we'll give it a minute to to kind of you know it let it install the packages and then i'll show you in package.json i hope you're following with me so far the best way remember friends to learn is to code along so practice with me drop in your comments if you see any issues in your local do let me know i'll be happy to help and answer you all right so let's give it a minute it's still working and make sure while it's doing to like the video to comment share subscribe to my channel thank you in advance all right it's just about to again this depends upon um, the packages that it's installing so give it time don't lose patience all right so it's almost done <coughs> If you're liking the video please do drop in your positive comments as always you do alrighty so here we are done so we see here that jquery popper and bootstrap are added into our um, package.json and how do you verify you go to package.json and we should see them added in the dependency list so we see here bootstrap version 4.5 jquery 3.5 popper 1.0.1 right so we got our packages in our package.json perfect so far so good now that's step number one right to install the package the second step is the important one don't miss on this do not miss this step which a lot of developers will do the second step is to update angular.json if you don't do this your bootstrap will not work in your application just installing the packages will not help you have to update angular.json file let's go to that file and here you search for something called architect under that build right you'll see so many options under architect i will explain this in the uh, coming tutorials where i'll explain the folder structure so find architect go to build inside that you would see styles and scripts so in the styles you need to mention dot slash node underscore module slash bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot min dot css 
I know this path, but if you want to verify it, you can you can still go into your node modules and search here. You should find that you should see your bootstrap IP. Let's just give it one bootstrap. You see here, and you have dist, you have CSS you have bootstrap min.css right so I know this path so uh, I've just added but if you want to verify you can do that as well now similarly under scripts add JS file now here you will add bootstrap min.js and you will also add popper dot JS dot index dot JS again I know the path so I've added it here but make sure that you check it out when you are adding it. It's pretty st straightforward and simple. Just go to P, you see popper and you'll see index.js, right? Similarly, go for search for J. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, let's go. J. There would be so many libraries, so go scroll slowly so that you don't miss it. jQuery. Uh, yeah, okay, here it is. Now jQuery dist, and you would add jQuery dot min dot js. So here we'll write js dist jQuery dot min dot js. Right. That's all. So. First, you add the CSS, then add all the JS files, right? Now, remember, once you update, restart your application. Some people just put it and say it's not working. So make sure that you restart. And by restart, I just mean that you just do a ng serve again, right? So we have added our packages. We have uh, updated our Angular JSON, and we have restarted our application. And in the index.html, we have used a utility class, which is BG primary. So we should see the same output again. Right. So let's type localhost and you would see this welcome to bootstrap framework. Right. So welcome to bootstrap framework in Angular. Right. So that is um, that means that your uh, bootstrap application is up and running. It's installed successfully. And that's why you are seeing the output with background blue. Do not worry too much at this point of time. We'll customize everything because we are building an application called simple CRM and we'll go there in no time. All right. So go ahead. Try both the ways. Get bootstrap installed in your application. Do let me know if you see any issues or any problems in installing I will help you in the just drop it in the comment section I'll try and help you in the next episode I will cover how to install angular material in angular application if you're enjoying my work if you're enjoying the tutorials please consider buying me a coffee at the given link below I would be thankful to you thank you so much I'll see you in the next episode